Hey everybody, I'm Dave, joined by Oscar Deus. Hello. We, um, well, I saw Far Cry 5 behind closed doors. We're going to talk through what I saw. Obviously, the most important thing is Boomer. There's a dog. So There's a dog, Dave. At I'm the start, I did get to choose which gun for hire I could have. Uh -huh. And I played the demo through twice. And the second time, they were like, hey, do you want to play with like a different one? I was like, no. No, <laughs> give me the dog. So Just what I'm showing here again. is basically at the start, you get like two, basically two ways in the demo at least, to liberate Fall's End, this uh, the, the town in which you progress the, the main story. And you can either like run in or grab an old sneaky sniper rifle and start start plinking away. The nice thing about the, the dog is his ability is basically he marks everything around him. He also gets himself into a bit of trouble. Naughty dog. I, I was not pleased, my aim doesn't show it, but I was not <laughs> pleased with this guy hitting my dog. Yeah, that's shocking. I was living. You should go to prison for that. Peter is going to be on him. Well, he's dead now. Oh, okay. But the main way I played it is just send Boomer in. Start opening up on fools. I don't blame you. I would, I'm would. i amazed you even got to the town to actually get in some combat. If I were you, I would have just like stayed petting the dog. Oh, don't worry. Me and the dog, we have some, we have some proper mates. hangs. Oh, most, most of the demo is me just hanging out with the dog, avoiding the mission. <laughs> but um, I felt like... I, I don't know if it's because... I mainly play on PC and I was using a PS4 controller, but I felt a little sloppy with the aim. Yeah. But I noticed that when uh, when I was using this weapon in a sniper mode, it wasn't completely accurate. That's not me making too much excuses. You're just, yeah, you're just making excuses for being terrible at video games, aren't you, Dave? It's still um, like it's still Far Cry combat. It's still yeah. super satisfying to shoot people, to get in their face and like start breaking noses and stuff. It's it like it's this. I don't want to say the same Far Cry combat, but Feels I mean... It's very similar, doesn't it? It's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah, I guess. Far Cry I, always had pretty good combat. Um, it does feel like... I mean, I played uh, this same section. I think I played a sort of shortened version of what you played. Yeah. Um, I played it at 83. And uh, it does... Uh, you're right, the combat... I don't know. Something does feel a little bit slippery, doesn't it? When you're when you're moving around with, the, uh, with whatever assault rifle you've got. Um, and yeah, it does feel very, very familiar. Cool, but I guess, like you say, it... If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I think it might have just been something to do with um, like the aim correction that console has. Boomer here, so that guy was about to send alarm. Boomer here rips his throat out and just ends the mission for me. Sick. Good boy. You don't even need I, to... I actually asked if Boomer was a guy or a girl, and I, the answer I got was it's a it's a very uh, good boy. He's a boy. Okay, so he's a, he's a good boy. He's a very okay, good boy. Good. So we liberate Fall's End. That means we can. It opens up to the possibility of accepting missions. Um, the tavern, which one of the main characters hangs out in, the Spread Eagle. The um the innuendo is a very yeah surface level in this game, which like <laughs> it's Far Cry. It's meant That's to be fine. a daft like a, a daft intense game. Yeah, I'm completely fine with that. So can you now explore now that you've opened up this or liberated this outpost? Can you sort of go wherever you want and chill and pet? oh yes, look at that. That's so Priority cool. I want this game. The dog. <laughs> um, no, yeah. is this one turn up? Oh what? Is this a Labrador? Get lost, mate. Can't pet her. There was also another dog when I reloaded, but um, I could explore from the start, but this is how you gain access to the main missions. Like, right, okay. The people, like the woman in that town was one of the main characters. I, I can't actually remember her name. But um, she then gave me the next main mission, which was to go uh, get a plane and start causing a lot of ruckus. Right. You notice the bobblehead? Oh, is that uh, Vass? my man v Vass? 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 V Vase? <laughs> it's definitely not that one. <laughs> There's a lot of like Easter eggs. I think out of all the Far Cries, this one takes itself the least serious. Yeah, because which, which is nice. That was what I noticed particularly about Far Cry Four, because Far Cry Four very much felt like Far Cry Three, but less serious, a bit more tongue in cheek. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I should. I just remembered Far Cry Blood Dragon exists, so it's not the least serious Far <laughs> yeah, Cry that's a good at point. all. Maybe second place. <laughs> this guy again punching my dog. Absolutely just, not having that. You just shot him in the just ass. Filled him in. What's that about? <laughs> it's filled with elements like this. You save. Um, like people who are in distress, hostages that are trying to be converted. Right. That increases your level. Um, what did you think of the... Because I think this is the first time that Far Cry has uh, come to the US. Uh, this is a, an American setting. It's in Montana, right? So, mm. like, what did you think of the environment compared to... Like, it seems very different to what we've seen in the more exotic locations we've seen in Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 3. Yeah. And previous ones. Like, was it a refreshing change or did it feel... Like I really like it. Muchness. It's got it's got a nice mixture of you know, I guess urban combat because there's there's more in the way of towns. I suppose in previous Far Cry's they're more like shanties and villages. Yeah, sure. Um, it's very recognisable as as stuff that I mean, if you be in America or visit America, you'd instantly recognise um, a nice variation between you know just fields and streams and forests. 
again, it's very recogniz- recognizable because it's always been, you know, jungles or something. Yeah. So it's it's just like, you know, wearing a, a different skin, I guess. Yeah, it's a nice landscape, though. It looks surprisingly nice. It looks nice, great. Actually. Um, especially after when I played this it. This wolf uh, just ignored uh, me. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> so this at, wolf. at one point, Boomer just decided to start chasing this deer, kills the deer, then the wolf steps up. Oh, what? But this interaction I thought was really cool. So Boomer will actually step up to any animal or enemy that attacks you. You right. don't really have to command it to be like, hey, can you attack that enemy, please? So as soon as this wolf stepped up, Boomer, who is like, you know, 60% of the thing's size, yeah. just bark in its face. This is like me when I come in in the morning, shout at you. <laughs> <laughs> but the difference is, is I don't run away. <laughs> so eventually the wolf is like, you know what? I'm, I'm gone. I'm, 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 I'm all See right, later, to be honest. <laughs> it's Boomer. He's Fair giving it the big one. Boomer's like, yeah, that's right. You better, better run. Good guard dog. Um, so he, he does just loads of stuff like that. He, he acts like a dog. Yeah. I try and feed it a piece of meat here. <laughs> you just threw it at him. Yeah, he didn't enjoy it. It's Take a piece a of meat. The piece of meat did, however, uh, do something else, and that was attract a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I actually jumped out of my seat when this bear turned around. I just turned around, and it's in my face. That is an amazing little interaction there. You, firstly, you didn't feed him meat. You chucked meat at his face. <laughs> I was like, because and- the meat is technically bait. And I was like, I wonder if I wonder if I can give it to Boomer. And Boomer would be like, cheers, mate. I've worked really hard today. But this bear turns up. And then Boomer keeps biting it on the ass. Yeah, Boomer. Eventually just scares the bear I away would, as well. Also, you're doing precisely nothing I wanted to here. see how much Boomer would do, so I'm tr- I'm purposely laying off the bear. Right, like, okay. What? Oh, yeah, I'm purposely being bad at the game, actually. I'm not even pulling the trigger, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just wanted to see if Boomer could take it down. And eventually, the bear's like, you know what? This dog is too, too much for me. But we end up chasing it really far. The bear eventually dies. And there was a cow next to the dead bear. So the Ooh, boomer it... then decides to start a cow. <laughs> well, bull technically, I guess. So we now start. I don't. I don't know. I think he just got off, got up on the wrong side of the bed because he's getting into every animal's he's face. He's getting in a fight with everything and everyone. It'll be barking at. Oh, oh, I missed the opportunity for a great pun. I was going to say he's going to be barking at a tree in a minute, and then I was thinking barking up the wrong tree. And then my brain works in a weird rewind. way. Yeah, rewind. 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 Let's, 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 let's re- I saved it with a really oh. in pun. Oh, so, so after I'm so like glad you're here. <laughs> after all the intense wildlife, I was like, let's have some relaxing wildlife. The fishing is actually really fun. This does look. Look at that whopper, <laughs> fifty nine pounds. <laughs> there was actually a competition uh, while we were playing the demo. There was a, a bunch of people there, and it was whoever caught the biggest fish won a t shirt. You know, I went home with that t shirt. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nice. Biggest fish, fifty nine pounds. That's decent. It's just this was one of the ways that like like you need. Things like bones and meat and stuff to get resources. Right. It's a nice change from just like hunting them. I like the fact that with uh, walking dogs and now fishing as well, Far Cry is slowly turning into the dad best simulator. dad game, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and dad then just killing mad cult people. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, this is the guy that we need to save to unlock the plane. Right. There you go. Boomer, stepping up to the plate again. He's a great guy. You don't even need to Bringing play this Bringing his gun back. Oh, Thank you very sick. much. Then some guy hits him with a baseball bat. Yeah, so I lost. You know, crack his cranium. Sick. This game looks pretty good. It looks like it's come on come on a long way yeah. since I played it at E3 as well. Like um, I said, I only played with Boomer, but if you want to see um, gameplay with the other guns for hire, then Jess McDonald did a video on that that should be up in the next day or so. Sweet. Actually, it should be up later today if you're watching as this is uploaded. Yeah, because I didn't get to play with channel. either of the other two. Because the other two... I got to s- play with them. I just didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so there, uh, there's a sniper. I accidentally killed the main uh, guy there. Nice, nice. There's a sniper and there's a guy who essentially comes and bombs everything. Yeah, that's the guy I'm saving, the plane guy. Right, okay. Um, Yeah, so I I only got to play with Boomer when I played at E3. But uh, did you notice any... When I played at E3, it was really rough. Like, the frame rate was real bad. I had no frame rate drops. Um, I had no pop-ins. It was running on 4K. It it was completely fine. Were you playing on PC? No, PS4 Pro. Oh, PS4, okay. Um, Yeah, it was completely fine. Oh, wow. I tried to punch this guy. I died. (laughs) Holy vengeance coming in, though. There he is! (laughs) (laughs) A <laughs> little bit too late, Boomer, but I appreciate the effort. So after you save him, you get Nick's plane. And then I think your mission is to... Um, you start, need to basically start destroying uh, the infrastructure. Like, right. And causing like heat, blowing stuff up. I was really worried that the plane would handle like super badly. Yeah. Because a lot of console games... A lot of games. A lot of games that aren't, you know, primarily plane games get plane controls really really bad Air even games really bad. that are plain games like i used to play a lot of war thunder wrong. and like that's obviously you know primarily a, a plain game um so i was like 
I was really worried, but it this, it controls perfectly fine. It's very it? simplified plane controls. But if you've played anything like Ace Combat, if you've flown the planes in GTA, they'll instantly be recognizable as just sure. plane controls. It's very simple. It doesn't really punish you if you're pitching or yawing the wrong way by just decking you into the ground. Mm -hmm. um, you can have, there's actually a dogfight, but these are the things we need to I blow up. We need to dog do the fight. Nice. <laughs> brought it back. Yeah, uh, the Eden's Gate silos is what we need to start blowing up. But eventually, obviously, they um, I I I felt fully safe in the sky. I was like, right. all these guys in pickup trucks and machine guns, they're not going to really do much to me. Yeah. But no, eventually they just send in like just fighters after you. Right. Okay. Um. That's cool. Can can you? So my one big question about the plane: Can you have the dog as a co-pilot no. in little goggles? That was that was one um, thing I was trying to do. I had to cut out like five minutes of gameplay because when I got in the truck, I really wanted the dog to just like jump in the truck with yeah, me. Yeah, sit in the. Does he not do that? He didn't do that. Oh. Didn't get in the plane. But now here's the um, the enemy fighter plane has turned up. Right. Obviously okay. Isn't too keen on me. Um, but like this 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 like plane that was obviously designed to spray crops. It's got rockets. It's got machine guns. It's got bombs. It's even got a bomb sight. <laughs> but oh no, I'm, I'm actually destroying a convoy some here. Some mean farming going on yeah. from this plane. For like, for just you know farmland, there's some weapons up in here. Yeah. I suppose it's America in it. Heavy machinery. It really is. Um, that is you, pretty cool though. You do like bombing runs. Um, I destroyed a convoy, and then it's it's when you're on your way to return to Nick. Right. But it's, it's like like previously in, in Far Cry, you had things like you had like the gyrocopter and stuff that you could kind of shoot from. Yeah, they've had vehicles previously, right? But yeah. planes have never... I don't think you've ever not, been... Not to like to this degree, I don't believe. No. Like you've had, obviously, like I said, the um, the gyrocopter in previous Far Cries and, and things like... I, th I suppose in Far Cry Primal, you could you know pilot the owl. Yeah. Is it an owl? I, I don't know. I didn't play Primal. You can probably pilot, I don't know, mammoths. <laughs> Any mammoths in there? I love, like, you can hear it now. Like a proper Top Gun soundtrack kicks in yeah. when this when this guy yeah. turns up. I I would love a Blood Dragon esque spin off where it's like Far Cry Five Top Gun. <laughs> well, like, I mean, you can play it like there is fighter pilots, not fighter pilots, but you know dog fights in this. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to machine gun this guy, and it felt like this was when I was like, okay, are these plane controls gonna hold up because this is when I need to be really re precise, really responsive, but. It controls like super well. Like when you slow down, you can turn tighter on that stuff. Like all, everything you'd expect from a fully fledged playing game. Yeah, that's getting pretty the hits cool. in though, mate. Getting yeah, the hits in. I was but worried I was going to crash into it. <laughs> but overall, what were your general impressions of Far Cry? Given, uh, in my opinion, Far Cry has somewhat stagnated in previous years. I think four was a little too similar to three. Do you think five is? A, a good enough, a big enough leap leap forward from Far Cry 4? I think so. Everything that you, like, enjoy about playing a Far Cry game is there, and there's a bit more of it. Like, the exploration, the hunting, the environments, the, um, as you said, they, they kind of get a little bit sillier with each iteration. Sure. This is easily the silliest. Um, the story concept of this is probably the most interesting as yeah. well. Like, the, the, the cult stuff. Um, I, th I was, li I, like you, I wasn't that chuffed with the previous Far Cry, but from playing Far Cry 5, I'm super excited about it. Sweet. Well, if you want to see more Far Cry 5 content, we've got a bunch of videos going up on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed, make sure you let your thoughts known in the comment section down below. Oscar, thank you for joining me. Thank you very much, Dave. And uh, we will see you. You're a good boy. Next time. I'm, not, I'm no boomer though. <laughs>